recording a podcasty thing. Yeah, yeah, this is our first one together. Now we're in the same room again. Again, after since so way long. back when. <laughs> this is your first episode, right? Oh, I think that was the only when I was in. I was like, yeah, yeah your first so podcast since November of 2013. Yeah, because last few episodes I've been over Skype, which kind of suck. Because living in your parents' house for a while. Like, I just for every disrespectful cussing. And now I can fucking say what the fuck I want. Yeah, now we can do all the curse words. Yay! Say all the swears. And it's like our first yeah, time... Frame again. Our, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's like our first time, like, since I've been back, that we haven't been doing sexy stuff in your room. We're doing, like, stuff stuff. So we do all the sexy stuff all the time. Get the microphone closer. I don't know. Now the microphone's, like, right there. You can see it. Is that a problem? right there i just have to be closer to it since i talk really quietly yeah i talk kind of loudly talk really loud yeah i feel like we each introduce them to what this is oh, yeah in case this, people don't know. this is seriously sidetracked it's the podcast we do that my twitch channel is named after yeah this is what started the twitch channel kind of the name behind it at okay, least this is, the, this is the thing and now oh, we're doing it again yep but mm. kind of differently because i'm here now yeah Mikey's here again. Yeah. Now we can talk about all the things. And then, yeah. So what's today's topic about? We were so today, if you can't see all around the thing, we're going to talk about all Star around. Wars, Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Yeah. Force Awakens. 7. <laughs> <Do you have laughs> trouble? Like, I can't. It doesn't like to do this. What's wrong with it? Can I, I don't know. It's. Oh, why is it shaking? That's kind of very terrifying. I can't, I can't. I did the thing. Let's see, I can do it fine with this one. Uh, What's wrong with your hands? I can, I, I, can, I can do that. Yeah, this one's the one that I can't do the three with easily. Are you, so like, are your hands okay? This way. Are your hands okay, though? Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's just that I, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like you probably do it better with your feet. My feet? Yeah. Lure has like very um, usable uh, monkey feet? toes. Monkey toes. Functional feet. Functional feet. That's what you call it. Yep. You can do all the things with them. All the things. Yeah. That has nothing to do with Star Wars though. That's <laughs> <laughs> what we're here to talk about. Yes. Since yeah, Star Wars came out last week. Totally. Because we're doing totally this in a timely last manner. Week. We watched it at the midnight, like eight o'clock premiere. Well, you watched it noon on Friday. As the day came out. Which is totally day. today, because we're doing this the day it comes out. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> we're functioning adults. Yeah. Yep. So we missed all the chances to get on the bandwagon. But we're here now. To talk about it. And it's been like, how many years since the last Star Wars movie? Was uh, like 2004? 2006 was 2006. episode 3, I think. Wow. That was... The most Star Wars-y Star Wars movie of the prequels. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I think, like... I think I watched that like the day before or two days before I watched episode seven. Yeah. And it feels weird because like the whole movie they do all like CG backgrounds. Yeah. And they're trying really, it's almost Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Like so close. General Grievous is awesome though. He is. Yeah. His design is super awesome. And the fact that he could like... Do all the crazy lightsaber tricks? Oh, yeah. That was just... Fuck yeah. But then they just kill him off instantly after barely introducing him. Yeah. General Grievous commands the droids. Who's General Grievous? Then he, he explodes, right? And then they shoot him and he oh, burns he's, up. Yeah. That was cool. I remember being a little kid and watching that. I was like, hell yeah, this is so awesome. <laughs> I just I just remember like the lightsaber battle at the end, which is basically the whole movie. Yeah. It's like the best <laughs> part of the movie. Hayden I was, Christensen versus Obi Wan Kenobi. I was really, really sad when <laughs> um, he goes and kills all the little kids at the little Jedi <laughs> Temple. I was yeah. really sad. I remember being like really. I think I cried when I was not smaller the watching children, that. Yeah. Not the younglings. He killed the younglings. And then he killed my favorite Je- uh, favorite. Well, my favorite um, Jedi died, which was the one with the blue. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. She was really cool. She's my favorite. Shut her. Shut her dead. No, that's very hard to they watch. can't kill Yoda or Chewbacca. Was Chewbacca even in yeah. Chewbacca and Yoda? Yoda was like, I will buy Chewbacca. I will see you again. 
I haven't seen that one in, like, forever. So Chewbacca's pretty old. Unless Wookiees go really fast. I don't mm-hmm. know the Wookiee life cycle. Nope. No. We, time to go through the books. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they talk about There is first. an extended... There's a comic book of how um, Han Solo and Chewbacca crash landed in, like, the Redwood Forest. Mm-hmm. Is that canon still? Because I don't know no, they made a lot of things uncanon. Canon. Yeah. yeah, it was never canon. Oh, okay. But Han Solo died, and then Chewbacca's roaming Earth, and he gets mistaken for Sasquatch. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that was ever canon. No, that, that would, would be that a never very canon. strange canon. Yeah. But yeah. Isn't E.T. canon? <laughs> They're trying to say it's canon, but... Or was that way? If Star Wars is set in the past, and then Yoda's in the future, I don't. What know. if we're in the future? People what like, if that's why there's no like other life out there? Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, people like to come up with all insane fan theories. Yeah, like the Jar Jar Binks fan theory, <laughs> Jar Jar Binks fan which theory. is pretty great. I wouldn't say I like fully believe. I don't it. think that I was think, ever their plan. Yeah, but, but it was a great entertaining it's so video. Interesting. Oh, but I watched, like, this whole... They had, like... When episode one came out, they had, like, a behind-the-scenes or whatever. Yeah. Like, hour-long documentary. And it just showed, like, how George Lucas was all enthralled with making his universe again. And then there was Ian McGregor, like, doing the first screen tests for Obi-Wan. Yeah. And, then, like, they were trying to figure out what to do with his hair. Originally, he was going to have, like, two long braided things for yeah. the ears. What happened to him? Did he still make movies? Yeah, Ian McGregor. Yeah, he's in some new movie. He so, was in a trailer for something. So it's um, he was in for it was like the cowboy movie. Yeah, not Hateful Eight. The other one since westerns are cool again. Yeah. So Anakin was the one who never really did anything after that. No, because everyone hated him after that. And he says Star Wars ruined his life, and I think he just got arrested for like a DUI or something. Oops. Oops. <laughs> but. Couldn't Jed- Jedi mind trick his way out of that one? Nope. His midi-chlorian count was not high. <laughs> <laughs> but they showed, like, the three kids that were, like, going out for the role of uh, young yeah. and stuff. And one of them was really good, right? It was, like, the first kid. It was, like, whatever. And then the second kid, like, read the line really good with emotion. And then they had the kid that get it. And he was really bad. Mm-hmm. He was the one from the one um, Arnold Christmas yeah. movie, right? Jingle All the Way. Yeah. I love that movie. Yeah. I, the movie was very a big part of me growing up. My dad <laughs> loves Arnold. Yeah. Like, obsessed. Like, I'm pretty sure my dad would probably go gay for him. <laughs> that movie was just on TV Christmas, like, a week ago, <laughs> because we're recording this in December. It's always on. <laughs> it's always on during the holiday yeah. time. Love Jingle All the Way. So good. So good. So good. Just a classic. Such a classic. I want a movie my parents, my parents watch a lot when it's Christmas time. Um, the black and white film, I forgot to call it, but it's like a classic, classic film. I heard that Die Hard is like a Christmas film. Um, I, I, I still haven't seen Die Hard. Yeah, it I takes place, like, doesn't it take place yeah. around Christmas time? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It has Mary Elizabeth Weinstein in it, I believe. It has Snape in it. Snape's the bad guy. Oh, is he? Yep. Oh. R.I.P. Alan Rickman. That hasn't happened yet. <laughs> <laughs> we were totally sensing the future with our Jedi abilities. Yes, R.I.P. That was so sad. We lost yeah. a lot of good classics. Rick, man, yeah. David Bowie's gonna die soon, and some other. The dude that started the Eagles died. R.I.P. Hotel California. I don't like that song. <laughs> like he's staring off into space. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can I respond to that? Oh, I haven't done. Yeah. Okay. We're streaming this on Twitch. Just yeah. So, so he's staring off at. The Can I be screen. Darth Vader and first choke you guys? You could first. You could first choke me. I like that. First choke you guys and kill Kylo Ren. All right, pepperonis. That's not pepperonis. All right, pepperonis. It's a there's a um, emoji like emoji thing. Okay. It's just like two pepperoni sticks and like a cross. Oh, okay, that sounds good. We just had pizza too. Pizza's delicious. Yeah, it's like kind of snowing outside because it's Christmas time, and we have to like yeah, it's gonna trudge be through. A huge snowstorm. I know. Next week. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get um, stuck with 
Leroy so I could do more sexy stuff while we're stuck in with all the snow. We have to body heat because it's snow and cold. Yeah, we have to get naked and just keep each other warm. Yeah. That's how it works totally. Yeah. And then I was watching that episode one thing, and George Lucas was doing this like horrible directing thing. What's he doing? Well, he directs the movie, but he's not a good director. He doesn't say anything. Mm-hmm. So then in the editing room, he's like splicing the two shots together. Yeah. And it's really bad. <laughs> like, I want them to sit down at the same time. But I didn't have them doing all this filming. So you have to take this half of the frame and make it hold for three seconds. And then they'll both sit down at the same time. Yeah. Like, no, you can say that while you're filming if you do that. No, it's not in the editing room. But there's, like, this really dumb shot in episode three. There's one Palpatine and Anakin are sitting watching the opera yeah. thing. And... If you look at it really closely, Anakin's whole face like morphs and his hair changes because they did two different shots. Yeah. And it's like, what the fuck? What <laughs> What other movies has George Lucas directed or whatever? Because um, all of them are Star Wars, pretty much. He directed Star Wars 4 and Star Wars 1. Those are the only Star Wars movies he's directed. Is that all that he's done? Then he did like American Graffiti way back when. Mm hmm. I've heard of the movie. I don't think I've seen it, though. I don't know what else he's done. I think he did some really dumb kids movie a while yeah. ago. I'm... George Lucas. IMDB. Gather a lightsaber. To gather the lightsaber. I was... Like, my parents love the franchise. I love Star Wars. I think they were, like... I think they went and saw all the movies in theaters when they first mm-hmm. came out. Oh, he did Indiana Jones. Okay. He's known for those four. Only? I want to know what he's directed. What did Wikipedia? All filmography. Writer, producer, he's directed 18 movies. Star Wars 3, Star Wars 2, Star Wars 1. Star Wars 4, American Graffiti, THX, and then a bunch of, like, shorts. He hasn't done much since Star Wars. Yeah. And then... He was, like, giving ideas for Star Wars Episode 7, and J.J. Abrams was like, no. No. We're not doing those. Yeah. Well, I, I, I wonder what he would have done, but, like, as is, mm-hmm. it was a good film. You know? Uh, well, they had to... They had to do a lot to make sure that they're like, we can do Star Wars. Yeah. This is episode four, the one that you loved. We're going to make it good, though. And there's going to be more stuff, more explosions. All the good characters you liked. Han Solo's back. Chewbacca's back. Gary Fisher's back. We're going to get Luke Skywalker back. Oh, and this is going to be very spoiler alert. Just yeah. Everyone's seen the movie by now. Yes, it's been a week. Yeah. You guys listen to the movie. Everyone saw it on the midnight premiere. Yeah. <laughs> and then opening day two. Yeah. I saw it twice already. Ferris, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I have, I've only seen it once. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's been like a week, so it's like, why watch it? I'll watch it next week. <laughs> There's some people that like watched it three day, three times in a row the day it came out. Oh, wow. And then like... Like they pay for it each time, or did they just sneak into them? They saw it three times that Thursday it came out and then the next day and then the day after and then the day after like Blaine from Rooster Teeth says he's going to see it eight times do you think he's going to? yeah he's pretty Star Wars committed to Star Blaine? Wars Blaine Blaine Blaine's the like the super buff one okay talks about Tinder and stuff yeah they did the awesome prank on him about seeing Star Wars early oh yes I remember <laughs> that I remember that was so hilarious <laughs> Who's done with the beard? Beard? Like the super long beard. Uh, da, 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 da. He was in um, Ten Little Roosters. Yeah. I follow him on Twitter. He's really cool. I want to say Adam. Don't think it's I feel Adam, like it's though. Gibby. <laughs> no. Or like Gib. Gibbles is Blaine. Okay. Blaine Gibson. B. Gibbles. I think it starts with a G. I forget. I'm really bad with names. Yeah. Yeah, that was an awesome prank. You should go watch that. I'll link it somewhere, maybe. So great. <laughs> <laughs> like 
how they spiced all those things. <laughs> just having what's his face in his underwear there is just <laughs> <laughs> And then him uh, rolling in in the wheelchair is BB-8. <laughs> <laughs> comedy go. Lucia Tate's really winning when yes. it comes to comedy. I think their movie's coming out next week. I need to buy tickets for that. Next week? Yeah. Like Thursday the 28th. So a month in January. January 28th? So yeah. like in a month. Not next week. Yeah. It's live. Comes out Thursday. We should go watch it. Yeah. I think there's four tickets left in Vancouver. So I really should hop on that. Four tickets left. That's sold out fast. It's like, it's like a month away and it's already yeah. sold out. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, they did like you have to demand it to be shown in your state or yeah. theater or town or whatever. So. Yeah. What theater is it playing at? Uh, Keegan's. Yeah. We're talking about Vancouver, Canada. Yep. Vancouver, Canada. Yeah. We're going to go all the way to Vancouver, Canada. We have to keep our location hidden. Right? That's true. We do. That's why it's not in my bio or anything. Is it in your bio? Uh, I think it's in my bio. It's on my Twitter bio. Oh, I might leak your address, so okay. people will stalk you. Yay! It's um six 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 Sesame Street. <laughs> I just wanted to meet you guys, so I just like came over and knocked on the door. That's not okay. That's so scary. <laughs> like I don't know. Like imagine being like like Lana Del Rey, mm-hmm. like in the future I think or right now I don't know when mm-hmm. it's happening, but she's like getting stalked by fans and stuff. Mm-hmm. Freddie Long was saying how, like, he used to have a studio, mm-hmm. and it was, like, hot, and the power would go out. Yeah. So one day, they were all just, like, sitting around without shirts on, their underwear, because the power went out, and they couldn't do anything. And some kid and his mom pulled up. It's like, oh, I just wanted to come see you. And he's like, you are a terrible mother. Yeah, that's <laughs> really bad. And it's all the cheapest people on the internet. <laughs> it's the whole studio not okay that's not okay not okay you are Respect a terrible mom privacy. terrible terrible mother mom of the year award right there mom of the year award <laughs> so yeah star wars episode seven yeah should like really get into it let's talk about it yeah so, I, it was so <laughs> weird like watching it because there was no fox logo in between it just went like right in the movie yeah lucasfilm start Oh, yeah. No more Fox. No more Fox. R.I.P. Fox. And they didn't put like the Disney logo in front of it or the bad robot in front of it. I'm surprised. Yeah. You're just like Star Wars. You're watching Star Wars. It took me like 30 seconds to realize this is actually a Star Wars movie. I'm watching another Star Wars movie on the big screen. And it's not terrible anymore. Yeah. This is going to be good. So good. And then it just starts out with action and action meet the, the bad guy he's got powers you, you meet the star of the movie bb-8 bb-8 i was not expecting to love bb-8 as much as i did i, I thought he was gonna be like okay like, i thought he was gonna be like a ripoff but no bb-8 <laughs> fucking killed bb-8 the movie. stole the show <laughs> like i don't care about the new trio of heroes <laughs> give me more bb-8 <laughs> there's that there's that dumb hashtag where's ray because she's not in all the toys or whatever and she's not what they're saying she's not but she has the third most amount of toys under bb-8 and kylo ren yeah and frankly she's a boring toy what do you mean oh she's a boring toy yeah yeah you know how darth vader has all the awesome toys yeah darth vader is a cool looking character yeah and kylo ren has all the toys because kylo ren's a cool looking character yeah i rather think of like BB-8. suit and things and then bb-8 has all the toys because bb-8 is Cause adorable and awesome yeah. BB-8 yeah. really did steal the show. I heard about for everybody <laughs> in the movie. It's like, holy shit. This is how you do comedy right. You don't have Jar Jar Binks. It's little Jar Jar Binks. And <laughs> sticking his tongue everywhere. You as just a, have this adorable little robot that bounces down the stairs. <laughs> as a kid, I did not mind Jar Jar Binks. I when I was a little kid, I didn't know yeah. what was happening. I, was I like, have no problem with Star Wars Episode One. Besides Jar Jar Binks? No, I was, I was six when Star Wars Episode One came out, yeah. so I love Star Wars Episode One. I was like four then, or yeah. three. I was a bit... Uh, when did 1998, right? Yeah. I was four. I can still... Well, how are you four? I was four. I was six. Oh. <laughs> I can watch Star Wars Episode One to this day, because yeah. it's just a goofy film. Yeah. It's fun. It's got lightsabers and action. That Darth Maul battle at the end. 
He was such a good villain. That's why he came back in the TV show after they cut his legs off. It's fucking stupid, but they did it. They only cut his legs off. <laughs> they totally skipped the fact so that he So they gave him spider have... legs. It's so dumb. Really? Yes. That's so dumb. <laughs> I'm looking that up. <laughs> so dumb. I can't believe they would do that. I just do not like Star Wars Episode Two at all. It's long, boring. Hayden Christensen's a terrible actor. I mean, the Boba Fett part is all right. Jango Fett. Is this him? No, it's weird. It's, it's a Darth Maul Star Wars TV show. Yeah, they give him really dumb legs. They realized it's dumb and gave him real legs after or something. Maybe. Yeah. Darth Maul is awesome though. Yeah. He should have been like the main bad guy in the whole original trilogy. He should have been. Sadly, they cut him off along as um, what's his name? Uh, Qui-Gon Liam Jinn? Neeson. Qui Gon Jinn. Qui Gon Jinn was awesome too. He was. And it's Liam Neeson. How awesome are you <laughs> get than that? You know. And he's your daddy as well as Fallout Three. Yeah. I enjoyed calling him daddy. <laughs> It's me, Daddy. <laughs> Fallout 3 is such a great game. Yeah. Fallout 4 has been awesome. But we're talking about Star Wars right now, yes. not Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> Off topic. Yep. Um, Sidetracked. Yep. I went thinking, oh, this is going to be an okay movie, you know, <laughs> like, money maker, cash cow. I didn't watch any of the trailers or anything. I'm like, oh, I did. J.J. <laughs> Abrams, he rebooted Star Trek really good. I enjoyed those movies. He can probably do it again. Yeah. I like Super 8. I like a bunch of stuff that J.J. Abrams does. So, Star Wars. Plus, he's a Star Wars fan. He got he got the writer of Star Wars Episode Five, which is one of the best Star Wars movies. They're still alive. Yeah. Okay. Writing's not, like, hard on you. Fine. Yeah. And then he got all the right people. Yeah. He filmed it on film for whatever reason, because you got to be a hipster. The film's nice. Yeah. Film like film nice. It adds to the, the look, even though we scan it into a computer and change everything afterwards. Yeah. But they got all the people, and then they gave us good protagonists. Mm -hmm. I love Finn. Finn is great. Finn is Ray so great. is amazing. Poe was pretty cool for the few minutes he was in the screen. Oh, I wish you would, there would have been more Poe. Yeah. Well, you can't have Poe and Han Solo because they're basically the same character. Yeah, so we have to get rid of one <laughs> to get the other. One. <laughs> Essentially. Yep. Well, then I hear that they're like rewriting a bunch of Episode Eight because they added a whole bunch of more characters, and then they realize that people like the few characters they had in this movie. Yeah. They're like, oh, we can just focus on them. Oh, that's good. I gotta I would watch it. Kind of like that yeah. actually. I don't need a giant, diverse cast. It saves more money that way, too. Yeah. I kind of didn't like how they had, like, big names, and we only saw them for, like, a few minutes, though. Well, it's just like, hey, Star Wars. Yeah. Nods. Yeah, when you're watching it the second time, you're not like, oh, that's from episode four. That's so good. Yeah. And you're like, oh, that's a nod. It's so good. Oh, look, it's Han Solo. It's so good. And you just, like, know what's going to happen. And you're like, yeah. oh, now I appreciate this a lot more. Yeah. The movie was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. And I felt bad for that because I was I didn't give it the props it deserved. Yeah. I had like a giant smile on my face the whole time. I loved this movie. Oh, I was sitting on the because I got there kind of late, mm -hmm. so my spot was like at the end of the aisle, mm -hmm. so I couldn't really enjoy it because <laughs> <laughs> I have to get up constantly. Yeah. But yeah, great film. Definitely go see it this weekend, yes. or else you're gonna get all the spoilers because we're gonna go into spoiler territory right now. If we haven't already spoiled the one thing. Which is? Well, you said that we had to kill off one of the characters. I, mean, I, never, kill said, off I never said kill off. I said we have to get rid of one to get the other. Uh, get rid of one. Okay. So you spoiled that. Well, we already said. Okay. Spoilers, bitches. Spoilers. <laughs> well, I already, I feel like I already said that earlier in the podcast. Yeah. Great film. Okay, it starts yeah. off um, introducing us to... There's BB-8 and Poe, and they're here looking for a map. Yeah. And Luke Skywalker's vanished and other stuff. 
And here's our big bad guy that we've seen in the one trailer that I watched. I didn't watch the second trailer. I watched like the one minute teaser. Yeah, and he's played by the hilarious Adam and Driver. awkwardly charming <laughs> Adam Driver. <laughs> oh man, that one, that one sketch from Saturday Night Live is going to come out in a month. You'll see it. <laughs> so good. <laughs> It'll come Undercover out boss, star killer face. Was that good? So I fucking... haven't seen it. I, we'll watch it in a, like okay. in a month. I have to watch it. It's hilarious. It's the one thing that I've seen from Saturday Night Live that's actually sticking with me. Yeah. Probably because I just watched it on YouTube, so it's a good sketch. I really liked um, Amy Schumer's night. Amy Schumer's what? Um, her night on Saturday Night Live, like, in a month, too. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I don't want actually watch Saturday Night Live. Oh, I don't either. I just... It's just, like, clips on Hulu, because Hulu's great, yeah. guys. You should, guys, should really get a Hulu account. It's amazing, not sponsored but should be <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll put in the email to Hulu you should sponsor us we have yeah. like three viewers <laughs> one of them is us <laughs> one of them is us <laughs> yeah. yeah and then you get introduced to Ray I liked how they didn't like explicitly go into like their backgrounds they're gonna wait the next few films they didn't yeah. spell everything out for you it's like oh Ray is waiting here for someone to come back you see, like, flashbacks when Kylo Ren is in her mind. I was like, yes. Do you have any theories about who um, Rey is? Rey. Well, everyone's saying that it's Luke Skywalker's daughter. I don't think it is. I don't think they'll do that. No. It's pro- if anything, it could be Jar Jar Binks' daughter. Jar Jar Binks' daughter. Don't forget, there. guys, Jar Jar Binks is the key. <laughs> Jar Jar Binks is the key. The line after that is, if we can make him funny. Yeah. Because he's the goofier character we've had in these films. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's the key to everything. And Snoke? Snoke, right? Snoke. Snoke? Snoke. Snoke. Whatever. Whatever. He doesn't really look like Jar Jar Binks. I don't know why people keep saying, oh, that's Jar Jar Binks. Like, excuse me, worries little eye <laughs> at ton of things. He's modeled after Abraham Lincoln. Is he? Yeah. That's, that's cool. why there was the giant yeah. chair... And they didn't even know if they were going to make him female or not, so... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about him, because he just looks like a dumb Smeagol. Well, he's played by the same he's guy. He's played by the same guy. <laughs> Ooh, if you could have just crossover left... Crossover film. Crossover film. Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. Star Wars meets Lord of the Rings. Well, they're coming out in Christmas pretty much every year now, so... Yeah. They could be hobbity. Which kind of sucks, because that kind of pushes back the release date. Mm-hmm. <laughs> six months but yeah. but at least Guardians of the Galaxy they have Guardians of the Galaxy 2 yeah and, and that one has to compete with Star Wars because they, yeah. they were supposed to come out at the same time can't have too much sci-fi at one time yeah oh, I'm so excited for Guardians Guardians 2 is going to be so yeah. good so I feel like we should discuss one of the biggest moments in the film which was the biggest moment BB-8 thumbs up <laughs> yes I was about to say that <laughs> but BB-8 really did um, still the movie. Still the like, show. I feel like he surpassed um, <laughs> R2-D2 in so many ways. Well, r 2 d is a badass. BB-8 is an adorable, cutie, yeah. awesomeness. Because we didn't get the badassness that we got with R2-D2 yeah. from BB-8. But bb eight something like... BB-8 hasn't robot. saved the day yet. Yeah. Yet. R2-D2 has saved the day countless times. But we still have two more movies. <laughs> We got time. Do you think he'll make a, a cameo in the spinoffs? The spinoffs. He'll probably be in... No, he can't be. I don't think he'll be in Rogue. He can't be in Rogue because they only introduced him in the beginning of 4. Yeah. Are they already on the ship? What? R2-D2. What do you mean? Because Leia... Leia wasn't on the ship. Oh, they, they pull the ship in. Yeah. No, R2-D2 should be there. Yeah. Because Leia gives him the plans right at the beginning. Yeah. And C-3PO's there. Okay, so <laughs> the whole C-3PO arm thing. <laughs> okay, you haven't seen this, but this is something me and Haley have been watching the most popular girls in school. Mm-hmm. That legit happens in that. Because at one point they rip off her arms. <laughs> and then she gets one human arms. But mm-hmm. they show a, she- a scene where she's debating which arm to get. <laughs> and then she goes for one more by one um, human. So the other arm's like a big bulky <laughs> robot arm. It's nice. Yeah. 
You guys should also watch Double Top of the Girls in School if you guys like, um, a, I guess, more female point of view of, like, something Robot Chicken would make. Mm-hmm. Not sponsored, but I think we should be, but I don't think they sponsor people. Just check out Awesome Things. Yeah. Give us a link back. <laughs> a link back. We'll talk about you. And <laughs> we'll talk about you to like two viewers. All my 20 subscribers. If you link us. Well, they've been dying down really quickly. Mm. Like, the first season was really successful with over a million views, and after that, it's kind of, like, dwindled. But I think they're still funny. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's like, like the whole YouTube algorithm things. Yeah. YouTube if you're not constantly uploading, then they'll bury you. Yeah. So you have to upload, upload, upload. Yep. Upload, upload, upload. That's why you have to cut this podcast into seven parts and upload one every day. That sounds smart. Or up- upload three video game things a day. Or we can just be like one of the shitty React channels like Jinx and do 10 videos a day of us just sitting there watching a video. Oh, well, coming yeah. soon <laughs> on a different YouTube channel, Haley Days, <laughs> React videos with me. <laughs> <laughs> Good segue, Leroy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to plug myself in. Yeah. BB-8 is amazing. I love it so much. Yes. And then another very memorable I want scene. those loot crate socks so bad. eBay. Yeah, six dollar <laughs> eBay. It's better than a twenty dollar loot crate yeah. for one thing. One of the most significant scenes as well in the movie is when Ray finds the lightsaber. Oh yeah, and that's when you see all the background stuff, not when Kylo Ren's in your mind. Yeah, that's that. Yep. Pivotal moment. Pivotal moment awakens everything. And that's when the rebellion comes in and they meet up. Did it? Did it the back. They don't destroy the planet. They destroy the bar. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, yeah. They really, like, rehashed a lot of things. Yeah. Some of them are really good. Some of them are hit and miss. This is like Star Wars Episode Four. It's basically Star Wars. It's not basically. It's it's very heavily inspired by Star Wars Episode Four. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah. But it's like the start of a new trilogy, so Episode Four started a great thing. Episode One. One, two, three were really bad. Yeah. We don't talk about those, though. But, but there were there weren't really like Star Wars films. They were more like they were very prequely, <laughs> you know. This is how the Death Star and everything yeah. happened. But at least, at least we didn't get. At least it's better than the Hobbit. Better than the <laughs> Hobbit, yeah. The one time, <laughs> that the Hobbit. The Hobbit, the. Oh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Just watch Lord of the Rings. That's like talking about uh, Punk Hunters too. <laughs> it's like watching. It's like talking about most Disney sequels. Yeah. Are there have there ever been any good Disney sequels? Like actual Disney Disney. I think the Lion Kings were all right. Uh, One and a half was good. One and a half was good. Two was uh, very memorable. Yeah. That's all of them. What one? I like the, the Aladdin the series. Little Mermaid one was good. The. I don't know about the Aladdin sequels. I've never seen them. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. I didn't like the first one too much either. Yeah. It was like, okay. Yep. Now Disney's finally doing sequels right with Star Wars and yep. Marvel. Marvel. Great. Film franchise. <laughs> Disney really has their shit together when it comes to that. Yep. They got everything locked down now. Yep. With that poll coming out so soon. Yep. That's, was... that's Fox, though. Oh. What, isn't that part of... Isn't he like a Marvel character? He is, but... Fox owns the X Men. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. Because I wish, I wish, kind of like, they could figure that out. Yeah. Well, we got Spider Man back. Yeah, which is pivotal for um, Civil War. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Spider Man. When does Deadpool come out? Like in Valentine's, Valentine's Day? Day. We should go watch it on Valentine's Day, but like around then. Yeah, we'll watch it the Sunday after for five bucks. Oh, yeah. We'll make it a date. Oh, you. Well, that's why they have all the romantic posters yeah. and things. <laughs> they know what they're doing with this movie. Yeah. They put someone in charge. They did. They let Ryan Reynolds be the character. So Ryan Reynolds is the character. Yeah. He was also a, a great choice for Green Lantern. If only they had written Green Lantern well. Yeah. <laughs> I hated how they did the CG, CGI suits and stuff. The CGI suits. That was where the, the worst. Like, was that really necessary to have? Well, they're made of pure energy, so... Of course they wouldn't look real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
No, all we need is that Nicolas Cage um, Superman movie. That looks good, though. That could have been good. Tim Burton could have done ridiculous things. I actually saw the... um, Documentary? Yeah. They're giving it on, I think, HBO or something. Mm Mm-hmm. That same day I went to go see Star Wars <laughs> as well. Yeah, I think I watched it because it was on HBO. Yeah, it was really good. Xfinity. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Then my, one of my sisters had to come over to babysit, so I had to go get ready because mm-hmm. you have to babysit the dog yeah. and the cat. We're really bad at talking about Star Wars. I know. But <laughs> it's a great film. Everyone gets to go see it. Go watch Star Wars. <laughs> um, it's out in theaters. It came out last week. Mm-hmm. Yep. Coming out today. Yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> it came out today. We're came recording today. this Friday night. Friday night. <laughs> Ignore the daylight in the window. Yeah. It's like super light. This is light so I don't look too dark because I'm like really dark skinned. Yeah. Red the light right above us. It gives us nice shadows on our faces. Yeah. <laughs> and then a light off to this corner which helps me make me look even whiter. Yeah. Don't want you to disappear. Yeah. You look really red. Mm-hmm. It's just weird looking at my face because this side. Why looks... are you so red? Are you blushing? No. Am I making you nervous being back red. in your room? I'm just red. You're never this red. Very white. But you're never this red. Am I? No. You should you're be making like... me redder. Stop it. Don't call it out. <laughs> All the is blushing. Mm-hmm. I feel like you guys should ship us instead of Anne. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think the people that watch this on YouTube. Yeah, you should check out Leroy's Perler stuff. He does a lot of cool perling things and stuff yeah, like that. You should subscribe to my Twitch channel. Yeah, like, they're like really awesome. And he sells them too, so if we ever want a poop yeah. crate, yeah, you should like they're pretty awesome. Move so I can see the chair. See, I made that thing. Gigantic. Made out of the tiny little perler beads. Yeah, that took forever. Yeah. I would have known because I didn't watch the stream because I was busy yeah. back in Texas. These giant things don't take that long, surprisingly. Yeah. What happened to the, um... That thingy on Anne's wall? What? The... The fairy? Oh, the fairy. Yes. Somewhere over here. He's also on this stuff. If you guys can see this. Some ponies. Pony that's, heads. That's going out in a poop crate. A little $10 donation. So you can get boxes of things that you want. Yep. So and he'll make them for you live via streams. Woo! No one's watching live right now. Yeah. Very sad. They there's keep people, popping in. There's people in it, but they left us. Yeah. They got yeah. bored. Because we're talking about Star Wars so much. Yeah. <laughs> so much. So much. Oh, yeah. Did you do the... Did you make the little things right? Stars? Which one? The um, IX. Uh, yeah. It's episode 9. Seriously sidetracked episode 9. Oh. <laughs> this is the ninth episode of the podcast. I was like really confused. I was like, it's episode <laughs> seven online. But then I was like, oh wait, because X means eight, right? X means ten. X means ten. <laughs> yeah. And then the, okay, so the reaction to spoiler, 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 Han Solo yeah. dying. Yeah. What was it like in your theater? I don't know. There was a lady behind us that was crying hysterically. <laughs> <laughs> yes that's why i like watching movies like the day moment, like c3po popped up and carrie fisher she started crying and I, was How like, old oh, was she? I don't know like 20s <laughs> mid 20s she was really into the film oh my god but like living here in canada <laughs> you get a lot of people like that who are very yeah. attached to things mm-hmm. our theater wasn't like packed full Oh, mine was. Mine was, like, yeah. super full. Mm-hmm. Um, there was... When that happened, there was this couple who was super... Mm-hmm. You can tell they were super into Star Wars. Like, this was their only time going out for the year. <laughs> <laughs> and they were, like, this there, and they kind of started, like, crying together mm-hmm. when Han Solo died. Yeah. I wasn't expecting Han Solo to die. Oh. But he wanted to be dead Yeah, in the so last I'm, not, movie. I'm not surprised. I'm really yeah. not surprised. I feel like that's the only way they got him back to do He's it. He's pretty old. Yeah, I wish the friend was like, I'll do this if you guys kill me. And they were mm-hmm. like, well, we were going to kill you anyway, so yay. <laughs> okay, now we want a character that wants to die. We can kill him off. And I'm, we can make his son go, like, full dark side. Yeah. I kind of felt like 
bad for Princess Leia because we didn't get to see a lot of her. Mm-hmm. But then at the same time, this is a brand new trilogy, yeah. new characters. I wouldn't even be surprised if they kill Princess Leia. Yeah. They didn't focus on the rebels. Yeah, I don't feel like they could. I don't feel like they should kill everyone off. I feel like Luke Skywalker might die. Mm-hmm. Everyone will die. I wouldn't be surprised if they killed like the original trio. Mm-hmm. Well, I you... don't feel like Leia is on the front lines anymore. So. Yeah, but they could explode her planet anytime. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's gonna be something. Well, the Death Star is destroyed again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, they could do story with something else. <laughs> like another Death Star. But I like the Mega Death Star on steroids. That was really cool. It was, like, it was a planet, right, this time? Yep. Star Killer Planet. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. Yeah. It's like, of course, they're going to go bigger and better. This was like their third time doing a Death Star. Yeah. They're going to do it right this time. <laughs> but they did it. Well, they kind of <laughs> did. If only they didn't figure out a way. Well, they, they didn't have Han Solo, who was willing to hyperspace onto the planet. Yeah. So it was safe. And then they didn't think they were going to be able to destroy it until they blew the thing. They were all leaving yeah. at that moment. And then, I like the references they tried making. Mm-hmm. Like the when they capture Super Shiny Woman, Stormtrooper, mm-hmm. you know what I'm talking about? Oh. And then they're like, um, Han Solo stopped them. He was like, do you guys, do, mm-hmm. do you guys, is there a trash compactor on here? <laughs> <laughs> You know what happened to her? <laughs> Do you think she got out? Do you think she was like enough to get out? Probably. That was a very iconic scene. Yeah. I like how Captain Phasma was supposed to be like a big deal. Yeah, she, she was she barely wasn't. in the movie. Which kind of sucks. She'll be in it. They got a good actress to play it. Yeah. I like Bordega's other movie though. Attack the Block. Oh, great film. So good. I knew who he was way back when. There he is. I didn't recognize him until I like Googled it because yeah. he was like super hot. <laughs> All his friends thought he was just like an extra or something in the film. What film? Star Wars. Really? Because he was like, I'm in Star Wars, but he couldn't tell them who he was or how big a deal he was. Yeah. They're like, oh, you were in like the whole thing. Thought you were like an extra, <laughs> man. <laughs> thought he was an extra. <laughs> yeah. Um... Who else was on it? Um, Carrie Fisher's own daughter was on it, Billy Lord. Mm-hmm. And like she went on Reasons with Kelly because all the time she was promoting mm-hmm. one of my favorite shows, Groom Queens. And they they tried asking her about it, but she was like, I couldn't do any, I can't talk about it. And even though she kind of, well, she only had like one line, mm-hmm. but she was in a lot of like the scenes, I guess, with Princess Leia. Like in every mm-hmm. scene, she was there. Yeah. yeah. Which is nice. Like I think that's really cool. Like she was able to work with her mom. A family film, <laughs> and then she her character played homage to Billy Lord mm-hmm. to um Prince Leia with the earbuds, yeah. and the finale with the actual hairstyle. Can't wait for the next one where they're gonna go darker. Are they gonna go darker? That's what they say they're doing. Nice. Are they gonna focus around uh Kylo? We're probably gonna do a lot of they're probably Sorry. gonna do Kylo finishing his training and Ray doing her training. So are we going to like jump forward a few years? Probably not too far. Yeah, maybe like one or two. Yeah, maybe one or two. If she actually stays or if she does the whole Luke Skywalker thing. Trains for like a month and says, my friends are in danger. I gotta go. Oh, if you leave now. But she's really skilled with the force already as it is. Yeah. So there's something there. Oh, it was funny. I saw like this whole like 20... Like responses to twenty nitpicks of Star Wars. What do you mean? There's like some like BuzzFeed or website like that where they're like, "Oh, let's respond to all these dumb criticizing tweets or whatever." Yeah. It's like, why is Ray so good at the Force? How can Ray be so good at the Force like Kylo Ren, even though she just like got her Force powers? And like the response was. Well, there's going to be two more films, and we don't know her mysterious past. So yeah. maybe that'll bring something into it. I really like <laughs> how they made her a Jedi, you mm-hmm. know? And then everyone's like, Finn was a janitor. Why is he so good? Finn it's like, it's never said explicitly that he was a janitor. 
Yeah. <laughs> he was obviously on a planet mm -hmm. trying to shoot people. And they're all still trained yeah. in how to be stormtroopers. It's like in the army, a chef's not going to just do cooking stuff and not know how to fire a gun mm -hmm. and defend themselves. Mm -hmm. They all go through the same training. Yep. They assign different jobs. They different things. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're not going to have actually spend money on people to clean. Yeah. Why not use people who are trained already and stuff who yeah. are waiting for battle yeah. at any given moment? You can battle and then you can mop. Yeah. <laughs> I really liked how they explain why they're not clones anymore and stuff like that. Well, they weren't clones in the original trilogy. Oh, or, I don't remember. Yeah. It's been that long for me. they like stopped doing the clones right at the end of episode three, I think. Yeah. Like, oh, they're all clones. Like, no, it's like the army now. And in this one, they're actually stealing kids. Yep. And brainwashing them. Kind of like children's soldiers and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, yeah, these are bad guys. They should probably die. Yeah. <laughs> Can I imagine being abducted like that, though? That would be fun. Would that be fun? But I'd probably be skinny, so. <laughs> you can be, like, super army dude. Yeah. We're going to train you. Then you can be a chef. Would you ever do the army? Uh, or anything like that? I wouldn't do the army. I don't want to be a grunt. I'd do Air Force, though. But you would, like... Would you, would you? Or would you, like, if you, if you just had to, you would do that one? If it came down to it, I would. Okay. You yeah. should do it legally. Mm. Well, since I have my Eagle Scout, I don't have to be, like, a grunt, grunt, grunt. Yeah. Well, grunt. I'm, like, really, really smart, so I don't have to be a grunt either. Mm -hmm. Everyone starts as a grunt, though. Yeah. Like, my ASVAP score is, like, super high, and I got, like, phone calls from them mm -hmm. for, like, a while. Mm -hmm. Oh, I made a funny joke to Amber, by the way. What? Because I was asking her who then... Because I already know Haley as the, as the RA. Mm -hmm. So I was like, who's the other RA? And, she, and then I and then I was like, because mm -hmm. um, RAs are, like, Sith. There's, they always mm -hmm. come in two. <laughs> <laughs> and she answered it, and then she got the joke after that. She was, like, nice. <laughs> Amber doesn't watch the Star Wars movies. But she got the reference, though. Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Or she just said nice guy said Seth. Yeah. yeah. God, I love Star Wars so much. I'm kind of okay with it being a yearly franchise. What do you mean? Because it's going to come out every Christmas. Oh, yeah. I kind of feel like there's a lot to explore. I used to read the books a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't need a Han Solo prequel. Mm -hmm. Who do you think you're going to have to play Han Solo? Uh, they've been looking at people. Yeah. And I don't need an Indiana Jones reboot are they rebooting Indiana even Jones? if chris pratt is fantastic they're rebooting Indiana they've Jones. they've been talking about it with chris pratt i don't think pratt. they need to i, I mean, feel like they don't it would have been all right if they continued with shia labeouf at that point yeah i was okay with that shia labeouf is not famous anymore nope he did that one film nymphomaniac by lars von Trier. yeah and then he watched all his movies for three days he did yeah he live streamed himself watching all his movies did you react to him or was this they watching? He reacted to him. But you couldn't hear the movie audio or you anything. See him? Yeah. And he doesn't say what movie was playing. Just watching him? Yeah. I think he watched his oldest, his newest to his oldest. Yeah. So there was a point where he had to sit through all the Transformers movies. He only did three of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then they got Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Marky Mark. Marky Mark. He was a rapper, right? Yep. I the Funky it. Bunch. Yeah. I've heard, I think, Sweet Vibrations. I haven't heard it. I'll play it after the podcast, so okay. copyright issues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm cool with Star Wars. Yeah. I'm cool with Marvel. I'm cool with what DC is trying to do now. Okay, uh, not not Batman vs. Superman. Batman Suicide Squad, Superman. I'm Suicide completely Squad. okay with. Yes, not Batman vs. Superman. Yeah. yeah. Doing I'm too much. I feel like Marvel really... Marvel nailed it. Marvel nailed it, yeah. Marvel had a plan and did it. That how long, like a twenty year plan? Yeah, I think that's what they got in the works. But now they're making it longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm so glad <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy did as well as it did because yeah. it's a great film, you know. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait for more sequels. Guardians of the Galaxy is gonna be great. I feel like making a trilogy is just what we need. Mm -hmm. trilogy, you know. Well, they they're like saying that. Oh yeah, Guardians Two is not gonna be set up for Infinity War. Yeah. And, yeah, they're going to let it be its own thing, and they'll just show up. Oh, yeah. So it's, like, almost not a Marvel film. Yeah, it's, like, a spinoff, I guess, yeah. right? Yeah. It's, like, a side thing. Yeah. 
It's really so nice. They're out in the galaxy doing their own shit. And they're not dealing with... So they're going to make a, um appearance in Infinity War? Yeah. I heard that they're doing some, like, new villain. I, like, saw the headline. Like a brand new article. villain? Doing a new villain. They're setting up an awesome villain or something. Yeah. And then, aren't they going to reveal, um... His dad? His dad. Yeah, I think that's what they're doing. But it's not going to be the same as in the comics. I'm actually really fine with a um, new Jurassic Park franchise. Yeah. They don't know what they could do after this one, though. Well, they're, they take it off the island. That's all I know. Well, they, they already they, they did what they did. Oh, we did it again. We made yeah. the park. Oh, shit, the park sucked up. We're going to start another one. No, I think they're taking off the island, like, <laughs> taking it somewhere else. Just don't know what they could do with it. Uh-huh. Jurassic World was a fine popcorn movie. Don't need another I one. I liked it. I really liked yeah, it. it was fun. It was fun. It was, it was a, a fun movie. popcorn movie. I could do for a sequel. It's not a fun super trilogy. Yeah. Chris Pratt's great. The actress is great. I forget her name. She stated to join them for the next three, two movies. Mm. How many how many movies is What's His Face Nightmare for? Chris Pratt. I don't know. For what? Jurassic World? Yeah. I don't know if they did any. Cause I, I doubt they expected the level of success with this no, one. No, they did. He, I don't know he signed on definitely for a few films. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a multi-film deal with them for it because we were proof of that. Mm-hmm. And then she's also signed on and apparently her character getting a lot of character development over the next few films. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I'm Googling Jurassic World. Jurassic World sequel. Jurassic World 2. Jurassic Moon. I'm still at Jurassic. <laughs> Is that bad? Isn't that two R's? Two S's. I have a movie somewhere. No, it's um, one R. Do you have the movie? Or is it like Jurassic Park? A Jurassic Park. Because I got it for like four bucks at one time at Target. We should have a Jurassic Park movie. Bryce Bryce Dallas Howard. Great actress. She played the really rac- racist movie. And The Help. You know. Mm-hmm. She was the woman who ate the shit. Oh. They're looking for the director for the next film. Already, and they may have found them. Mm-hmm. I just watched the trailer for Jurassic World like four too many times. Yeah, it was like super, super because like, the whole trailer is the movie. But I didn't think they were gonna do that. Yeah, but the last ten minutes were awesome. Dinosaur fight for the win. But we'll probably get way more into it in the next podcast when we do our top. Whatever. Yeah. Best of 2015. Yay! Woo! Okay, Pratt is signed on for an unspecified number of sequels. Mm-hmm. Was he going to pull the, 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 the thing? Probably. They're doing a World War Z 2? Yeah, I don't know why. Is that needed? I think they're rebooting it. Brad Pitt's coming back. Yeah. Well, they fucked that movie so hard. Yeah. It's such a great book. I remember reading it in middle school. <laughs> the little survival book. The, yeah. The book, they just bought the name. That's it. There's nothing to do with it. Yeah. But it had Doctor Who in it. As the Who Doctor. <laughs> Who? What's his face? The dude that's Doctor Who right now. The old man? Yeah. Okay. He was in World War Z as Who Doctor. Because they landed the World Health Organization or whatever. Yeah. Yep. So you play a doctor? Yep. Nice. Yep. Woo. That's us talking about Star Wars though. Yes. So tune in next time. For the best of which we talk about games. Best mostly. of 2015 games. Movies. TV shows. TV shows. I feel like it was a really bad year for music. Maybe. We got a lot of new artists that are shitty. And then we had the horrible Rip It song, which I really hate. Oops. Oops. I don't know. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah. Mm. That was fun. Really bad year for music. We had one really good album, which I don't think you think is good, but I think it's great, but I'll talk about that in mm-hmm. And yeah. Mm. Well, I don't listen to Lana Del Rey or Adele or anything like that. I don't so. Lana Del Rey. Her album was like voted second best by Metacritic mm-hmm. users. It's the best album yet. Yep. It got like an 80. I think it had a score of 80. Yeah, 80. For Metacritic is good. What? For Metacritic is good. Yeah. I don't know what games I played this year. I play Fallout 4. I love Fallout 4. It's not a lot. game of the year, though. Not game of the year. Has too many flaws, but great game. It's fun. Yeah. Whatever. We'll talk about it more next time. Yes, thank you guys for watching. Ooh. Bye.